In this visual method statement we will explain, AC, DC panels in detail. We will cover the following contents in this video. Purpose and scope. Responsibilities. Tools and equipment. Procedure. And references. The purpose of this method statement is to describe various activities for installation, testing and commissioning of AC, DC panels. It involves all installations and testing activities. Responsibilities of project team includes as following, project manager is, overall responsible for ensuring the activity completion as per approved drawings and applicable standards. Site and construction manager is responsible of, site monitoring, coordination with related staff, control of all the construction's activities related to the ACDC panels. Site engineer will be, directly involved in the planning and execution of the activities involved in the ACDC panels, responsible to ensure adequate equipment are mobilized at works place prior to the starting the activity. QC engineer will, ensure and monitor all ACDC panels installations activities. All activities to be executed as per client requirements, procedures, PTS, approved ITPs, and MOS. He will submit RFIs to consultant and arrange inspection for getting approval. Foreman is, responsible to execute activity of AC, DC panels installations as per IFC drawings and approved MOS safety officer and in charge is, responsible for ensuring best health and safety practices across working, storage areas, and during equipment operations. He will prepare risk assessment for site activities. Following tools and equipments will be required to perform this activity, hand tools, forklift, crane, jack trolley, fluke meter, digital avimeter, digital meter, leveling machine, high voltage test equipment, etc. Step by step installation procedure will be shown here, first, ensure that approved layout and installation drawings are available for the work and, obtain all applicable work permits before starting the activity. Ensure the room surface, and AC-DC panels are clean and free from foreign particles and obstacles. Check the panel support structure properly fixed on the floor. Verify the level and alignment of support base. Shift the panels from storage area to inside room with the help of pallet trolley, lifting tool, and place it on the panel support. And Make sure that trolley load carrying capacity is higher than the panel load. Check all panels physically for any damage, defect, or deterioration. And Ensure that all panels are aligned and fitted properly to the support. And also, make sure that panel door moves freely without any obstruction. In this video, we can see, the real-time installed panels, at our project site, where door clearance can be seen without any hindrance or, obstacle. Now, loose the bolts to make the interconnection of bus bar. Tight all bolts with torque wrench method as per manufacturer recommendation. Check the cable gland for incoming and outgoing ports. Ensure the grounding of panel and instruments for secure and correct connection. And inspect the proper dressing and termination of cables. In this video, we can see all groundings panel, from main grounding mesh connected with panel and other components, are grounded with copper flat bar. QC engineer will ensure all connections thoroughly. Maintain minimum clearance from panel to wall according to the approved drawings. Correct labeling of devices are ensured. After that, panels are cleaned and doors are gently locked. Now, erection of all panels and removal of extra materials and scrap is also ensured. Moving towards the next step. Testing of AC-DC panels, now, perform functional check of selector switches, indication lamps, push buttons, volt, and ampere meter, to ensure all are functioning properly. Now, carefully perform the magging of panel cables with the help of avimeter at 1000 volts. Next step, check in detail, auto transfer switching scheme and interlocking of AC-DC panels. 
Finally, to complete the testing procedure of AC-DC panels, conduct high voltage test of bus bar at 2.5 kV, for the period of 60 minutes, to ensure the flashover of bus bar circuit. The following documents may be referred regarding this activity. Inspection and Test Plan, ITP Quality Control Procedure for Identification and Traceability Checklist and SOP, Electrical, Latest Revision of Approved Layout International Electrical Code, 60439, Low Voltage Switch Gear Assemblies and Requirements for Type Test International Electrical Code, 60529 degree of protection provided by enclosure, IP code 01 TMSS 01 Saudi Electric Company, general requirements of all equipment and material and 31 TMSS 02 Saudi Electric Company, auxiliaries of AC-DC panels. Thanks for watching. It was Alphanar Construction, TQM Department Presentation. We hope, this visual method statement will be useful at project site.